Hey y'all, Nate here with Nate's Interactive Auto. And today, do I got a good test for you guys. So we're gonna test all these fuel cleaners out. As you can see, we have a lot of great fuel cleaners here, such as Marvel Mystery Oil, CRC Intake Valve and Turbo Cleaner, B12 Chem Tool, C Foam Spray, STP, STP Gum Out, obviously several STPs. So we're gonna test how well these clean carbon build up. Not only that, but we're also going to test how well these burn okay so we're going to see like sea foam leaves some smoke as it burns as do some of the others so does it leave anything behind like carbon buildup who knows let's find out and see and we're going to also judge the temperature of each fuel additive and see how hot they get first we're going to start off with the spark plugs and we're going to do a carbon buildup test. So we're going to test the carbon buildup on each spark plug. As you can see, spark plugs of before. This will be the B12 chem tool. This is the before shot. And drop that in there. High mileage gum out. This is the before shot. This is the before shot of the Marvel Mystery Oil. So this is the before shot of the CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner. This is the before shot of the STP gas treatment. Before shot of the STP fuel injector cleaner. STP fuel injector and carburetor treatment before shot. Here is the before shot of the seafoam spray. Here is the before shot of the STP complete fuel system cleaner. This is the before shot of the SuperTech fuel injector cleaner. Next, we're going to soak these cleaners for seven days. That's right, seven days. So, if these guys can't really do it in seven days, well, I don't know. I have my doubts. So, what I may do about halfway through the week is come back, set it all up for you guys to see, and heat these guys up just a little bit so that they can get the heat as if they would have inside of the engine. Let's go ahead and add our fuel additives. It's been 48 hours. Now we're going to give these guys just a little bit of heat. They can have the same effect as if they were in the engine. Yeah, it's probably a bad idea, but it wouldn't be the first time. So we have a infrared gun. That way we can monitor the temperature of each one. Hey, y'all, make sure you watch till the end and find out what happens. Of course, something always has to go wrong. Okay guys, so what I decided to do is get them up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I know that's not the hottest temperature, but hey, it works. So, we'll come back in a few more days and check out the results. Okay guys, we're back, and are you ready for the results? Well, I know I definitely am, so let's go ahead and get started. Sea foam spray. We'll give it a little shake there. We're not going to wipe it down really good or anything like that. Okay, guys, here is the after shots of the seafoam spray. You can look at the color change. After shot of STP fuel injector cleaner after one week.
color difference in this as well color difference in your CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner after shots the Marvel solution hasn't really changed color it's still a reddish color and here's the after shot of the Marvel mystery oil STP gas treatment. I notice a slight discoloration in the fluid over there that it's been soaking in. STP so. gas treatment. High mileage fuel injector cleaner by gum out. As you can see, this is the after shots. I'm not wiping these down is because if I do, then I'm interfering with the test so here's the STP high mileage fuel injector and carburetor treatment after shots here we have the B12 chem tool after shots the after shots of the STP complete fuel system cleaner here we have the after shots of the SuperTech fuel injector cleaner Okay guys, you ready to get this test underway? As you can see, the glasses, they're completely clean and they're ready to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and light these guys up. You can see what carbon buildup is left over, if any, for each of these products. And we're going to see how these burn. Also, we want to check the temperature of these guys. So, let's go ahead and get this test moving right along. Guys, as you can see, it doesn't look like this stuff wants to burn like it did before. I'm having light it that way. When you're dumping these fuel chemicals in, you want to burn. So, they try Marvel Mystery, we'll try. B12 Chem Tool seems to be what really burns. Find out just how much carbon buildup's left from burning these products and I have had one heck of a time trying to light these products. So far the products I've had the most problem with was the STP products. First the STP complete fuel system cleaner and the other STP products won't light then all of a sudden they do and then you see what happened so there you have it well as you guys could see it was not much of a success as there was uh, still problems to be had like the apparently the shot glasses still couldn't handle it so not only that you seen it was nothing but trouble trying to burn these products so I want to thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. You guys keep on wrenching.